later later discussion. So now I'll talk about digital femoral osteotomy. So as you know, digital femoral osteotomy is made with the meal, not a so cut. In the original series of Oxford, so called phase one, that is used from uh, 1976 to uh, around the 2000, uh, maybe more earlier. The distal femur is cut with the sole, but it's very unreliable and very quite difficult to achieve. So, next version, phase two. Uh, introduce the meal system uh, to create the accurate distal femoral cut and the accurate extensive gap. So the key point is measure the distance between the flexion and the extension precisely. Uh, it is quite accurate procedure, so we can evaluate the gap within one millimeter of the difference. Then I may calculate the difference between fraction and extension and mu. So we are uh, the desired and distance. So if the calculation after the calculation, the difference between fraction and extension two millimeter, we use to size two spigot. So and mu. So uh, I as I say, maybe I explain the point that this femoral osteotomy is uh, made parallel to the peg, refer to the peg. So this direction of the meal should be parallel to the tibia tray when we measure the fraction. Yeah. If we uh, measure the fraction angle a little bit in extension. Uh, we need this up uh, the more the extension gap can enlarge. So uh, some surgeon is uh some surgeons experience that so if they need more, for example, two millimeter, three millimeter, the extension gap can enlarge. Maybe this situation the friction angle is not enough because the friction angle like that if you we mean more the extension gap can enlarge on the other hand if uh, the surgeon flex more uh when we mean more so friction can friction gap can shorten so uh please think this angle is 10 degrees in friction. You don't understand. Why? Why? I already explained that this one, this procedure. No, 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 no. I already explained that uh, this uh, fresh uh, anyway, so this meal hole, a uh, peg hole is made with three sides. We link between femoral three guys and this uh, iron rod with ringgate device. So, using ringgate device, the femoral three guys uh, is set same degrees in uh, and 10 degrees in place. Do you understand? Do you understand? So, so this direction should be 10 degrees in direction. Refer to the femoral uh, anatomical uh, axis. Do you understand? So, so this direction should be 10 degrees in flexion against the femur uh, axis. And it should be parallel. This plane should be parallel. But this plane is 7 degrees in flexion, uh, posterior slope. Um, because tibia I'm wrote, 
and uh, Tibetan Hyundai is built in seven degrees of posterior slope. So, if it is set parallel to this peg hole direction, uh, uh, yes, peg hole direction, the tibial axis, uh, axis is same degree more in flexion. So in total, this femoral uh, axis and the tibial axis should be 17 degrees. So this angle should be 107 degrees. Oh, you are very well in mathematics because you are Indian. <laughs> <laughs> so India can uh, calculate accurately and quickly <laughs> than Japanese. Maybe everyone understood? Yes, no, no, no. 10 no. degrees question and 10 degrees. So it is quite important. So operatively, operatively you should check the direction of spigota and display. Uh, uh, is parallel or not uh, with your eyes, so you should make sure. Otherwise, suppression gap is uh, can be changed. Anyway, so uh, this is a is made with spigot, but in fact, uh, I guess theoretically, you should not extend uh, more than. 20 degrees, you should not evaluate extension gap in full flexion because in this situation, postural capsule can be tightened. So in most case, MCR uh, should be relaxed. In fact, in fact, we found that around 40 percent of patient around 30 to 40 patient uh, uh, patient has the larger flow extension gap so when you feel bit, uh, a little bit tight in 20 in 10 degree pressure you should evaluate the extension gap. Uh, in addition to the 20, 20 degradation of patient gap because some patient has the Loose up for extension here. So uh, this is the key points. Uh, special at a patient, especially uh, the last pivot is small. So that means uh, last pivot is one degree uh, zero one or two. In such patient, so we should make sure not only the twenty degree infection but also the fluid. Because uh, in free friction, if the gap is loose in friction, so some uh, dislocation, be, uh, bearing dislocation occurred in full extension with unloaded condition. For example, roll over the bed in the morning. Other times, so, uh, so pregnant. But, the different uh, bearing can be So we do not accept the loose extension gap. In my opinion, a slight tight extension gap can be accepted because uh, there are two limbs in no one gives. In the full extension, every ligament around the knee is a slightly tight compared to, to the flexion portion. Uh, and uh, if the extension gap is a little bit loose, the patient can feel the instability during walking, standing, or stairs up, stairs down. In addition, uh, theoretically, so we can simulate around uh, to, to, to refer the femoral condyle only between 20 degrees and 120 degrees. So beyond this friction angle, the radius is smaller and gap can be lesser. 
and full extension radius can be larger. And in addition, the contact point of the tibia plateau is slightly uh, rise up, slightly elevated in extension. Uh, there are two reasons. So in the patient, as a media size, is a really tight, but full extension. So they can be tight enough because of rise up of the tibia articular surface and different morphology of fever. So uh, I can draw. <laughs> Because we can simulate the circle around 20 degrees and 120 degrees. So uh, we can consider this part as the part of sphere or part of the But in the extension facet, a little bit higher. And because the radius is a slightly big. So we can simulate only this part using the Oxford. You understand? So in every case, you can find uh, some notes here. After the anterior wheel. So oh, you can some more details and you can see the cable here. That implies that this line, this level is lower than the original part of the space. Okay. Another point before the plan is that the transit mirror works for so so called just in, in the inlay process, not the only. Unlike the Oxford needs, the most differing is the only device. So uh pattern of camera probably needs getting in the fit bearing. But on the other hand, also need in the inlay implantation. Of course, there is some gap here. Uh, interestingly, this gap is filled with uh, uh, some fiber tissues uh, forming a natural uh, access sample like this. Anyway, so uh, so this surface is lower than the original surface. And how about the tibia? Tibia is partially flat, but until it is slightly light. So for this is the extension particle. So slightly. So in full extension. Part of the point which is here. So, or tibia, both tibia and tibia extension point. But using the Oxford knee, so because that is the part for the tibia. So, until until part of the tibia part is slightly lower than the original part. So, this in the same same component should be. The lower. So theoretically, it is possible in the full extension is looser in 20 degrees in pressure after the implantation of the Oxford because the both tibia and the tibia part of the extension part is lower, deeper than the original part. So that is the theory. Anyways. <laughs> Anyway, uh, practically, we should take care not only the 20 degrees and the pressure. Uh, please, uh, just remember, if the 20 degrees first before the select the thinner uh, pillar gauge, you should extend and the average. Okay, this is a uh, uh, form of uh, the Oxford. Okay.
。終わります。はい、チャンタ。チャンタ、グモニー。インスパイブリーアーリー。アラウンド。Yeah. Peace, 530. In the morning, New York country. Okay, okay. Sorry. Good morning. Oh, see you. See you, see you. Sorry. <clears throat> Okay, do you understand? Do you understand? So it is very difficult. Because it's 